Let's try to understand the application of power law here, right? So we are trying to do laws of logarithms. C3, rewrite each expression using power law. So this could be written as, so it is half times log 2 of 7. So basically 7 to the power of half is what? It is equivalent to. So we can write this as log 2 of 7 to the power of half, right? Sometimes you may see it written as this also, log 2 of square root of 7, right? So that is 7 to the power of half. Similarly, this one could be written as minus 3 over 2. So we are doing the reverse of what we did here. But we are applying power law either way, right? Power law, this power comes as coefficient of law kind of. It gets multiplied by it. So you get minus 3 over 2, right? Minus 3 over 2 log of 5 to the base of 7, right? Base 5 of 7. So this should be written like this. Now, log of square root 2. So that is to say that we have log of 2 to the power of minus half, correct? So it is 1 over square root 2. And that is simplified as minus half log of 2, correct? So you will recall that if we are taking log of 1, we get 0, correct? But if the number here is less than 1, then we expect a negative answer, right? So I hope you appreciate that part. When you see the logarithm graph, then it is kind of like this. It's kind of like this, right? Now that point is log of 1 this point is log of 1. So here it is x, right? And this is log of x, correct? So if you see a negative value, see this 1 over square root 2 is less than 1, so somewhere here, correct? On the negative side. And therefore we get negative here. So that is how you can think about it, correct? So whenever you get negative as your answer for log, it means the number involved is actually less than 1. If the number is more than 1, then you get a positive answer. Remember that. It is going to help you and many times it is being asked in communication questions. Thank you.